you're sewing, you always want to make sure you're using a needle that's not dull. The way that you know this is if you've sewn with a needle for a couple big projects or if your needle starts to make a tapping sound or if your stitches look kind of funny, then that might mean that you need to change your needle. So you can get needles in a variety of sizes and types. So here's a couple different types of needles. So the cotton fabric that we sewed on, you want to make sure you're using a regular point needle. Uh, those are the types of needles that come with the machine. If you want to sew a stretchy fabric, like for instance a t-shirt or sweatshirt fabric, then you want to get ballpoint needles. And it actually says on the package specifically for knit fabrics. And if you want to know more about needles, you can check out some more information on the Singer website. So let's go over how to change a needle. The first thing you have to do is turn the machine off. It's just a good idea, safety-wise, to make sure you turn your machine off. We're going to loosen the needle clamp screw, which is this screw right here. And if you need to, you can use the L-shaped screwdriver that came with your machine. And we are going to loosen that until the needle drops right out. Once you do that, you can grab your ballpoint needle. And if you look at the thick part of a sewing machine needle, one side of the thick part is flat. The flat side needs to face away from you. So with the flat side facing away from you, you're gonna go ahead and insert the needle and pull it, push it all the way up inside. It's gonna hit a ceiling. Make sure you push it in until it stops. And then you can tighten the needle clamp screw. So now we just need to re-thread our needle. So I'm gonna stick it in the thread guide, make sure my needle is in the highest position. I'll catch it on the needle threader, pull it right through. 